Hello everyone, my name is Tranquility, and today I bring you another simple and easy tutorial. And this one is about how to play Doom 1, 2, and 3 using an app called Delta Touch. The app is available to purchase on the Google Play Store for only $2.50, and in my opinion, is worth the money due to all the features included within the app, and if you don't like it, they even offer a full money back guarantee at any time just by emailing them. The current version of the app is 4.7.2 and was updated on July 23rd of 2022. But enough of me rambling, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and let's get into the tutorial. To start off, go to the Play Store and buy the Delta Touch app. Then open the app, and when it asks for permission to access your media, press allow. Now just like the Quad Touch app, which I have a tutorial for, link in description, it will talk about the changes introduced by Android 11's new garbage scope storage feature. Scroll down and tap the Set Secondary Storage Now button. Then scroll down and tap the Select Folder button. Now go to your files and make an Open Touch folder, and then make a Delta folder. Once that is done, we will go to Step 2. Now, I'll be using Doom 2 as an example, but this process is basically the same for all of the Doom games. Take your WAD file, or in the case of Doom 3, your PK4 files, from your Doom installation or folder, and move them to the open touch slash delta folder. For Doom 1 and 2, move the files to the delta folder. For Doom 3, move your PK4 files to the D3 slash base folder inside the delta folder. For mods, just move them to the mods folder. You can buy these games on Steam for pretty cheap nowadays. However, if you don't have a PC, or just want the game for free, then you can use archive.org to download the necessary files for these games. The links for these games, as well as the apps mentioned in this video, will be in the description below. Finally, choose the engine that works best for you. For Doom, there are six. GZ Doom, LZ Doom, Xandronium, Chocolate Doom, Doom Retro, and finally, PR Boom. Personally, I would recommend GZ Doom over all of the others. To change between these engines, tap the arrow on the left side of the screen, and then tap the engine you want on the left. You can also change engine specific settings by tapping the gear icon next to them. There is also a mods button in the bottom right corner. Tap the mod icon, then double tap the three lines icon next to the X, then choose the mod you want from the menu. Once you have found the game and mods you want to use and the engine you want to run them with, tap the play button on the bottom right of the screen. It will say license not found and ask to fetch it from Google. Tap OK and it should go right through unless you have a pirated version. Then press the play button again and it should go into the game menu. Congrats, you have now finished the tutorial. There are other settings you can change, such as gamepad controls and other settings, but those are ultimately up to you to decide. Now, I'm going to show some gameplay of Doom running with GZ Doom. 